Hello, hello, folks. Ron here again, and today I'm going to be out in front of the home. I actually am out in front of the home. I'm going to go there in a minute. Of Elizabeth Montgomery, late actress. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Montgomery. A lot of traffic here on Benedict Canyon. Interesting that it's so still so popular with celebrities. Maybe not as popular as it used to be. Um, Elizabeth Montgomery is probably meant for or most famous for two things. I'd say the first thing is she was beautiful. Obviously, she was stunning. And the second thing is she starred in a highly rated show for eight years called Bewitched, which is was my first introduction to Elizabeth Montgomery. My introduction, I should say. Anyway, Elizabeth Montgomery, she came from a, a stage family. Her mother was a stage actress. Her father was Robert Montgomery, a film actor. She grew up here in Los Angeles and she went to Harvard Westlake School for Girls, uh, went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York for three years. I also attended the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in my acting days, but the one here in Los Angeles, there are two campuses and a lot of uh, great, fine actors, artists have come out of there. Anyway, um, so Elizabeth Montgomery started on television and in film. And then in 1964, I believe it was her third husband, she was married six times. Once to actor Gig Young, once to Bill Asher, the TV producer and creator who created Bewitched, and also to Robert Foxworth, the actor. He was her last husband. She died when she was with Robert Foxworth. But anyway, when she was with Bill Asher in 1964, she started, they started uh, Bewitched. And lo and behold, it was a huge hit. And it's, it, it was taking a dip in its ratings in the eighth year, in 72, but it was renewed for a ninth year. However, the relationship between Asher and his wife, Elizabeth Montgomery, was fading. And because of their personal difficulties, part of the reason that she decided, that they decided not to go forth with doing the show again. Um, now, Elizabeth Montgomery also, but after that, she did TV and movies. Fortunately, and she was a very politically uh, a liberal. She was in Hollywood, so it fit right in. Uh, very attuned to liberal causes in Hollywood, including gay rights, a gay rights activist, almost along with Elizabeth Taylor. And you know, uh, Dick York was gay, uh, one of her, her television husband from Bewitched. I believe Dick Sargent might have been as well, but I don't know for sure, so I'm not going to speculate. Unfortunately, Elizabeth Montgomery died in 1995 at the age of just really 61 from colon cancer um so tragic taken too soon excuse me and let's go by the house now really all you can see is the gate so it's no real great attraction but let's see as much as we can see through the gate yeah, that's about it a little bit up to the house, huh? A little bit up. That's Hollywood for you. Gates and cameras. I think that, I think that camera's looking at me. Well, I can see a little bit under the grounds here. Just a little bit. All right, folks. Well, we don't want to get too invasive, especially with all the cameras that are always here. Uh, but again, that's Beverly Hills. That's Hollywood for you. So, I'm going to be signing off for now. Thanks for watching and listening. My name is Ron. If you enjoy my channel, please subscribe. Please leave comments in the comments section if you see fit. And, by the way, if you do subscribe, please hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe and you'll be indicated when I post. Uh, each time I post, I should say. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you listening. We'll see you at the next location. Thank you and bye-bye.